everyone, my name is Jess. Welcome to Kids Church today. Uh, this week, we'll be thinking about the idea uh, that Jesus is the only one that can provide us with true satisfaction. Hmm, thinking about my life, I wonder where there are things in my life where I think, hmm, that one thing, if I only had that, I would be truly satisfied. Perhaps the latest Fortnite skin, or hmm, maybe if I was the top of my class, or maybe if I had the most recent toy, I would be truly satisfied with that. Um, today we'll be thinking about all of those things. Uh, but first, we have a mini challenge coming up, uh, some songs and then the talk. So sit back, enjoy, uh, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hi everyone, my name's Hannah and I'm bringing you this week's Toonie Kids Challenge. The challenge this week is going to test your balance and your strength because this week's challenge is to see how many hops you can do in 60 seconds. Just like this. Hop, 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 hop. Now, if hopping is too tricky for a whole 60 seconds, I'll give you two easier options. You are allowed to switch legs halfway through. Hop, 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 switch. you can do two-footed jumps instead, like this. Jump, jump, jump. All right, the challenge is over to you. You've got 60 seconds. Count how many hops you can do in those 60 seconds and challenge everyone around you to see who can get the most. All right, ready and go. Thank you for the challenge. Kids, I hope you did all right. Um, if you managed to get a photo, make sure you pop it up on Facebook or send it through to the email uh, so that we can pop it on the YouTube video if you want to be famous on the internet. <laughs> um, it'll be cool. All right, so next up though, we are going to play a game together. Uh, what game are we playing this week, Jess? Simon Says. Oh, yes, my favorite. <laughs> uh, how does that work, quickly? Yeah, so basically I'll say Simon Says tap your head and you'll want to tap your head. Simon says, tap your shoulders. Hmm. Rub your belly. If you rub your belly without me saying Simon says, oh, oh bad luck. try and do your best. All right, here we go. Okay. This is going to be Simon. Let's play along together. Make sure we can figure right. it out. Hmm. Simon says, wave your hands. Simon says, turn around. <laughs> Stop. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. Let's continue. Uh, I hope you didn't stop. Simon says, rub your belly. Simon says, give a thumbs up. Simon says, jump up and down. Stop. Oh, good oh, job, guys. Oh, good yeah. job. Yes. All right. Hmm. Simon says, uh, pretend to be an elephant. Oh. <gasps> Simon says, pretend to be a bird, flap your wings. Oh, wow. Hmm. Do a big roar like a lion. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Simon says, do a Superman. <laughs> Simon says, be a fish. Oh, I was a little different. <laughs> Fish do many things. Uh, Simon says, pat your head. 
and rub your belly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Simon says rub your belly. Oh. And can you guys pat your head? I can. <gasps> Oh, Simon didn't say to pat your head. <laughs> oh, I got two for doing the two things. Good job, guys. How did you all go? Hope you had fun with that game. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm excited. Hopefully, you're already standing up. We're going to sing another song next. Now, if you have been to Co Toonie Kids <gasps> Week, yes. you know that my favourite song, <laughs> absolute favourite song, is at the top of my lungs, and we're going to be singing that. Now, I want you guys to sing this song so loud that your parents get scared and are like, what's going on, all right? <laughs> so please just sing this song at the top of your, your lungs! <laughs> that song uh, and had a little dance. Uh, now we have um, our talk coming up today. If you can remember, at the beginning, I asked you if you could think of anything in your life uh, where you think, if I had this one thing, I would be truly satisfied. Uh, the talk that we have coming up with Nash focuses on a lady that thought she had that one thing 
Uh, and then she met Jesus and he turned that idea around. It's pretty interesting, so have a sit and enjoy. Hey kids, uh, we've been talking today about our satisfaction and where we find our satisfaction. And you know what, there's a story in the Bible about that and it comes from John chapter 4. And in this story, it's a really hot day and it's the middle of the day and Jesus is sitting by a well. And you see, back in those days, people didn't have running taps. They had to come to a well to get their water. But people didn't do that in the middle of the day because it was too hot. So they often came in the morning and the afternoon. But this story, right in the middle of the day, a woman comes to the well and she comes alone. It's a bit strange, but I can tell you why. She came because she didn't want to see anyone else. You see, she was often mocked by people or made fun of because she had five husbands and unfortunately for her no one in the town really liked her she was quite alone and so she would come to the well to get the water by herself um, but in this story she saw jesus and so she was probably a bit shocked that he was there because back in those days you know what men weren't supposed to talk to women and also this woman was a samaritan and Jesus was a Jew, and, and Samaritans and Jews, they didn't get along. So they definitely weren't supposed to talk to each other. But Jesus, he talked to her anyway. And he said, please, woman, could I have some water? And she said, oh, why are you talking to me? I'm a Samaritan, and you're a Jew. And I'm a woman, and you're a man. You, you shouldn't be talking to me. Why are you doing that? And Jesus, he says, actually... You know what? If you knew who I was, you would have talked to me and you would have asked me for the living water that satisfies. And she is like super confused by that because, I mean, Jesus didn't have a bucket. How was he going to get water out of the well? It was super deep. And, you know, like she's just like, oh, oh I don't know. But Jesus, he knows her. He knows what she's thinking of. And so he explains, he says, everyone who drinks the water out of this well will get thirsty again. They need to come and get more later. But the living water that I offer always satisfies. You'll never get thirsty again. The woman stopped because that water sounded pretty good. She would love to not have to come back to the well again. So she said, yeah, okay, I'd love that living water. Can I have some of that? Jesus, he says, go get your husband. Oh, no. The woman hangs her head in shame. This is her biggest fear. She says, I don't have a husband. And Jesus, he knows the woman. And he says, you're right. Because you've had five husbands. And the man you're with now, he's not your real husband. And the woman, she couldn't believe it. This guy, who she'd never met before, was telling her all sorts of things about herself. She, she knew that this man knew her better than she knew herself. It was crazy. And she was pretty amazed. She probably like dropped her bucket of water. She was like, what is happening? How does this guy know who I am? How does he know me so well? You see, this, this story, it's a little bit confusing at first. Because Jesus is talking about water. And he's talking about husbands. And you might go, oh, I don't get it. <laughs> and that's okay. So I didn't get it at first either. But here's what I think this story is talking about. See, the story is linking water and husbands in one theme of satisfaction. You see, the woman, she was trying to gain satisfaction from husbands. And that's why she tried to have five different ones. She was trying to find the right husband who would satisfy her. And you see, that sounds a bit like us sometimes. Like, maybe you want the latest game console. Maybe you want to be the smartest in school because you think that'll be what satisfies you. And as we talked about before, it, often it doesn't satisfy us ultimately. 
does maybe for a little while, but then it doesn't. And it, for this woman, it didn't satisfy her. It's kind of like a drink of water. It satisfies you for a little while, but then you need another one later on. But you see, this story, Jesus says he's the living water that truly satisfies us. And here's what that means. You see, God made you and he made you to have a relationship with him. And that is what satisfies you. We try to look for other ways to find that satisfaction. Getting the coolest stuff, having the most friends, or having the most fun. But until we have a relationship with God, we're not who we were created to be. We're left a little bit empty inside, and we're not satisfied. And so Jesus knows that, and he says, guys... The only way for you to be truly satisfied is to have a relationship with God. And the best news is that we get to have a relationship by God, with God by having a relationship with Jesus. Because Jesus is God. You know, when I think about the things in my life that I try to find satisfaction from, um, I can feel a little bit like the woman at the well. I like to have lots of friends and I think that'll satisfy me. And so I hang out with them all the time. But then sometimes I still feel lonely and I realize that they actually, they're good, but they don't fully satisfy me. Maybe that's the same for you. Maybe you feel that way. But the best news is that we have a God who does satisfy us. We just have to come to him and have a relationship with him. So what can you learn from this story? Don't look for satisfaction from things from life. Come to God. Get to know him. Because he is the one who will satisfy you. Hi everyone, my name's Lauren. Hi, I'm Jordan. So the song we're going to be teaching you today is called Love the Lord. So everyone, stand up, even parents as well. Everyone, stand up and get involved. And we're going to be teaching you the actions first. And then we'll go through, then we can sing the song together. Alright, exciting. What's the action? Let's go. Follow along with me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. Love all of mankind as you would love yourself. Well so, now, <laughs> so now that you know the actions, we'll do it a little bit faster and we can sing the song together. All right, let's go. let's go. Make sure you can keep up. I think we should go faster. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can go even faster. Do you think you guys can keep up? I think you can keep up. Let's go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. Love all of mankind as you would love yourself and love the Lord your God with all your heart. Tick, tick, tick.
guys going home. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another Toonie Kids Challenge. Uh, before I get to what this week's challenge is, we've got some photos from the previous weeks. We've got some Lego photos from the Temple Challenge a couple of weeks ago. Have a look, see if they're yours. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, now we've got a challenge for you this week. As you saw from the talk, I had my little Lego set and I used that. And what we'd love is for you guys to use your own Lego or building blocks or toys, whatever you've got at home, to create something from the talk that you can remember. Now I've created a little well with a Jesus and a woman. Maybe you could do that, but maybe you could create something different. If you liked the idea of water, maybe you could create a river of water or something. Maybe you could think of something that uh, you tried to get satisfaction from, whether it was school or friends or toys, and you could create that and you could say this and you could put a big X over and say this doesn't ultimately satisfy and you could point to God. Get creative and then send me an email or put it on Facebook. Uh, Rachel's on holiday, so make sure you send it to my email this week um, and then we'll get it into next week's video and you can see yourself on YouTube. All right, uh, thanks guys. Oh man, what a fun challenge. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all enjoyed the service today. Uh, it was really, really great to have all of you with us. Um, how great is it that we have Jesus in our lives and he provides true satisfaction. Um, I think we're pretty lucky to have that. Uh, let me pray to finish up and then we'll have a QuizWorks talk afterwards. Dear God, thank you so much for this week and that we were all able to join together uh, for Kids Church Online. Thank you that we can sing praise to you, uh, play games together, and just spend time thinking about uh, and understanding you more. Uh, thank you that you sent your only son down to earth for us uh, so that we can be truly known and truly loved by you. Uh, thank you that we can find true satisfaction in that as well. Amen. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, next, we have a little QuizWorks video for you to watch. Uh, otherwise, we will see you all next week. Bye. What are you doing? You know, this morning I'm singing ah, on the song. I am going to be famous. Right. Well, uh, hey, hi, everyone. My name is Michael. Oh, and I'm Flo. And here at QuizWorks Home Delivery, we are working our way through the awesome Book of Acts. And I'm going to sing. <laughs> and in the Book of Acts, we learn that Jesus has... A mission. And Jesus' mission is that people from all around the world would hear that Jesus is the King. And Jesus' mission is that people from all around the world would accept Jesus as their King. Wow, that's a mighty big mission. Today we're going to see that the risen King Jesus is still powerful. And he is the only way to become friends with God. So it is important to tell people about him. Wait, even if people try and stop it? That's right, because Acts helps us to see that, oh, do it with me, the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Well, wonderful, but can we please sing now? Well, first I'd better teach everyone the actions. Oh, okay, you do that while I go and practice love. <laughs> Can you mute your microphone until it's your turn? Oh, sorry. See ya. <sighs> okay. Well, today we're going to be looking at Acts chapters 3 and 4, and we're going to tell this story through song. And I'm going to need all of you to help me. So when I get to the chorus, I want everyone to stand up and to do the actions. They go like this. And he went walking and leaping and praising God. Great, let's do that again. He went walking and leaping 
and praising God. <laughs> now, the chorus changes the words a little bit each time, but you can just follow along. Okay, let's do it. You can all sit back down. Oh, did you see me? Did you see me? Flo, you were brilliant. But, Michael, did that all really happen? Yeah, it did. But what about that part where the leaders said, Pete, you must stop. All this talk of Jesus is rough. Yeah, but Peter and John said to them, But, but there's no other name by which all people are saved. Exactly. See, Peter and John knew that the risen King Jesus still has power. And they knew that it's only by trusting in the risen King Jesus that people can be friends with God. So they kept telling people about him? Exactly, because just like the song says, Jesus said... Oh, I'll be back! That's right! The Bible says that the risen King Jesus will one day come back and fix everything... And get rid of all sin! That's right! And so people all around the world need to hear that Jesus is the King. And people all around the world need to accept Jesus as their king. Oh, so that's why that is Jesus' mission. Exactly. So we need to make sure that we are telling people about the risen King Jesus too. And we can know that. Oh, do it with me. The mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Splendiferous. Well, I'm off to watch that music video again. I'm a star. Okay, see you later, Flo. Farewell, everyone. And he went 
walking and leaping. Well, the book of Acts tells us that the risen King Jesus is still powerful. And the book of Acts tells us that the risen King Jesus is the only way to become friends with God. And so we should be a part of Jesus' mission by praying for and telling people of the risen King Jesus. And to help you on that mission, don't forget to check out all the extra stuff that you can get after signing up at www.quizworks.com slash home delivery. Okay, see you later.